Now let's talk a little bit more about the dress, Philip, because we do have some more details now. Just a stunning dress. The lace was handmade as per an Irish tradition, is that right? Absolutely. Well, it's interesting that they have some French lace and it is mixed with Irish lace mm -hmm. as well. And all along the embroidery along the bottom and the shoes are covered, the shoes were handmade by the House of the Queen and covered in the same lace. It's an ivory and white satin gazar material? Yes. Well, the satin is actually a very matte satin also. It's mm -hmm. interesting. It's, you know, she obviously went for everything not too sparkly. No beads, no pearls, nothing too ostentatious. And the back apparently is finished with 58 organza covered buttons. Beautiful, beautiful. Images of Princess Grace. Yes. <laughs> yes, very much Absolutely. so. Absolutely. It reminds me much more of her dress. It has a real Spanish feel also uh, to the... With that lace? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Now, how long do you think it took to make that dress, Philip? Oh, they've been planning that for months. Yeah. That's been, yes. <laughs> been being planned for months. Well, and it's interesting that I believe the embroidery was done by the uh, Royal School of Embroidery there. Yes, the Royal School of Needlework. Needlework. Drawing on tradition, drawing on all things British. Absolutely. Uh, British lace. Well, yeah. if you look at the, the detail, how the pattern of the lace points right to the apex of her bust, it's all done mm -hmm. to accentuate her body. Look at how the pattern goes right to her bust.